another Fort Wayne basketball star making a jump from the SAC to a Division I program. Zach Groth here checking in live at Northrop. And if you look at the shirt, you can tell where Jalen Jackson made up his mind. Going to UIC to play for the Flames. Jalen, how good does it feel to have this decision made and be able to celebrate it now? Um, you know, the recruiting process is long, and, but it's also really enjoyable. Uh, just blessed that, you know, I can bring all my family members here, my friends here, and just be able to say where I want to go to college. Um, so it brings a lot of weight off my shoulders, and I'm definitely, you know, 110% and just excited about my decision. What made UIC stand out among some of the other great programs that you were considering? Um, to go into detail, uh, there's a couple things. There's actually a lot of things that just stood out. Um, I love the culture of the program, the coaches, the post-academic opportunities for me, and just the overall, just, it just felt like home. So going into detail about the post-academic stuff, um, when I went on my visit, my official visit, um, talked to the coaches, um, they text all the professional baseball teams, uh, basketball teams, hockey teams, football, and just because I want to go into chiropractic school and be a chiropractor when I'm older. Um, they talked to them if I can intern or shadow, and they said that they'll be willing to help me out with that. So obviously that's a huge step in my post-basketball career. Um, Basketball-wise, they lost a guard, and they need somebody who um, can come in right away with a college body, play, make, score, defend, rebound, all that stuff. So that just felt like a you know, good opportunity for me to go in there and work as hard as I can and be able to have the opportunity to, to earn a spot to start. Um, and then uh, coaching-wise, I'll be coached by D. Brown, who went to Illinois, uh, played in the NBA for seven years, uh, played USA, um, just played in every pro league possible, won the dunk, dunk contest, and you know, just to have him as my position coach just sets alone from everybody other everybody else just because he knows what he's talking about. He's been he's been to the NBA, he's played college basketball, he's been to the March Madness tournament, he's played with teammates like Darren Williams, like I'm a point guard, he played point guard. So just him telling me all that knowledge um, every day and pushing me to become the best point guard I can possibly be is going to also be another plus. Um, Coach Jack and Coach V, Coach V, um, he played at Butler. Um, he played Division One, so he obviously knows what it takes to get there and knows what needs to be done you know, to get to NCAA to win that kind of stuff. And then Coach Yak, um, I would say he's probably the most energetic coach and the coach who probably loved me the most. Um, Constant communication. It was never the same. Never the same talk every day. Um, it was always something different. Even if it wasn't even about basketball. How's my family doing? You know, when my uncle died last week, he called first person to call me from the coaches' wise and just says, "How are you doing? Be here for you every step of the way with your uncle and stuff like that." So, and then after, like when I went my visit, it just felt like felt right, felt like home. And sometimes you just know with your gut feeling, and that's what I went with today. And I'm very proud of myself.